Welcome to our channel Electrical and Control Engineering. We provide the research simulations in the field of optimization specially power systems and renewable energy resources. To seek our help in your research or simulations, please contact us at the email given in the description. Today we will discuss the objective function, constraints, and cost calculations of the system. First of all let's discuss the constraints of this optimization. There are two constraints of this hybrid optimization. The first one is to maintain the SOC of the battery thought the yearly simulation. The battery should not be discharged below the depth of discharge. If you see the SOC plot here. It is clear that at each time in the weekly plot the SOC of battery is not below 30%. The second constraint is to met the load demand at each hour throughout the year. This condition is met. By seeing the graph. The red portions indicate that renewable energy resources plus battery storage is not sufficient to meet the load demand, so DG or gasifier has come to meet the deficient amount of load demand. So, load demand is ensured every time during the simulation of the hybrid optimal design. The objective function is minimized enforcing a set of several constraints, which are summarized as below by the following lower and upper bounds. For solar for wind. For batteries. For gasifier or DG. Now let's discuss the objective function. The main motive of this study is to minimize total NPC, net present cost, of the proposed hybrid system while maintaining the optimal energy flow. For standalone mode either of the two costs can be selected as objective function. ASC annualized system cost is the preferable fitness function. However LCOE levelized cost of energy can also be selected as objective function but not preferred. For grid connected mode LCOE is the only fitness function. Now the question is. Can we choose ASC as fitness function in? Grid connected mode? The answer is no. For optimal configuration, for main decision factors, i.e., the number of wind turbines, solar PV panels, batteries, and rating of DG or biomass gasifier have been selected. Annualized system cost consists of total capital cost, replacement cost and operational and maintenance cost of the components. Installation and civil works costs are incorporated in the capital costs of the components. It is calculated by this following relationship. Werksol, Quind, Spat and Synv are the cost of solar. PV panel, per kW, wind turbine, per kW, battery, per unit, and inverter, per kW, respectively. CBMG is the cost of biomass gasifier, per kW, and PBMG is the rating of biomass gasifier. In case of DG gasifier cost will be replaced with DG cost. PINV is the rating of the inverter. The ASC of the installed component has several parts such as capital and installation cost, COCAP, replacement cost, CAROP, annual maintenance cost, CM. Operation cost, CF, and salvage cost, XAL. Further, total ASC of each components can be expressed as follows. If you see these relationships you can see that the cost calculation of DG or gasifier has an additional component that is fuel cost. The annualized cost of any component can be calculated with the help of a factor called capacity recovery factor, CRF. CRF is used to compute present value of money and can be given as by this equation. This equation gives the annualized factor of the net present cost of any component. Where N is the lifetime in years and I is the annual interest rate. The optimal configuration is selected on the basis of LCOE and reliability. The levelized cost of energy, LCOE, or levelized cost of electricity, is a measure of the average net present cost of electricity generation for a generating plant over its lifetime. 
The LCOE is calculated as the ratio between all costs over the year of an electricity generating plant divided by a discounted sum of the actual energy amounts delivered. So, LCOE is declared as average price per kilowatt hour of the energy, useful, generated by the system and it can be given as by this equation. This equation gives the levelized cost of energy. It means if we divide the annual system cost by the total energy served to the load in a year, will give us LCOE. The MATLAB implementation is already explained in detail in Lecture 3 of the Hybrid Renewable Energy Design. You can go through that lecture to see the implementation of the MATLAB code in detail. Now, let's discuss some other factor that affect the design. Reliability Analysis Loss of Power Supply Probability, LPSP, is a statistical parameter which indicates the probability of power supply failure either due to low renewable resource or technical failure to meet demand. There are two methods of calculating LPSP, i.e. chronological simulation and probabilistic techniques. The former technique uses time series data in a given period and the latter is based on the energy accumulative effect of the energy storage system, as shown in equation and this is described based energy accumulative effect. In the simulations we have ensured the 0% loss of power to the load, means our reliability is 100% in the simulation. Now let discuss the renewable factor. Renewable factor is defined for algorithm as a boundary to determine the amount of energy coming from a diesel generator as compared to the renewable generator and given by this following relation. The renewable factor of 100% shows the ideal system based on renewable resources only. However the renewable factor of 0% shows that the amount of power coming from a diesel generator is equivalent to the power from renewable resources. Here are the results of one of the case study. Keep in mind that the wind power is not included in this case study. The first two graph indicate the solar power. Battery discharging, load demand. SOC of the battery battery charging. And total power generated. You can in these graphs that SOC of the battery is always above the depth of discharge and load is always below the total power provided. The next two graphs shows load demand. Battery charging. And total power generated. The first graph shows when sufficient power is available then battery is being charged at that instant. The lower graphs shows the charging and discharging profile of the battery. The last graph shows the convergence of the fitness function. As it is standalone system. So the ASC is taken as the fitness function. Thank you very much for seeing this demo of the hybrid renewable energy design. If you have any project. You can contact us at the email given in the description. For any question do not hesitate to comment. Again thank you very much.